I'm Tony Williams, and this is my 2009 CTSV sedan. And it's pretty much a gutted drivetrain. It's got a re completely replaced drivetrain. It's a race car. Uh, it's got a 427 LSX iron block with a Kong 2650. Uh, making about 25 PSI and uh, dynoed about a thousand horsepower to the rear tires and uh, Out here today at uh, LS fest We uh, decided to run an index class today Aim for a 10 flat uh, index and we ran a best of a 980 at 144 miles an hour um, and just been working through some kinks cars only built a few months ago and uh, so we've been working with K-Tech Built the Car and uh, their tuner. Dr. Phil has been uh, working his magic with HP tuners and I've been logging the car. Uh, got my setup inside, running logs every pass, send it off to the tuner. He looks at it, sends me a new file to try and so that's how we've been doing it. Used to be the wife's daily. Uh, we bought the car in uh, 2015 and uh, had 35,000 original miles on it. It was a Florida car, and uh, we she drove it daily. She even drove it in the winter. We'd put snow tires on it, and she'd drive it in the winter. And then, you know, of course, we can't ever leave anything stock, so we did pulleys and tune and injectors and got it up to about 650 wheel horsepower, which was a pretty good daily for the wife. Um, and then she got a new car this last year and we decided let's just take this thing to the next level because I wanted a four digit car, needed something that made four digits. And, uh, and we decided, hey, why not take the V and, uh, and turn it into a race car? So we sent it over to the guys at K-Tech and we, we started with a clean slate. We pulled the whole LSA platform out of it, uh, transmission, rear end, axles, everything's gutted and we started fresh with an LSX iron block, diamond pistons, Cali's Dragon Slayer crank, uh, their custom drive uh, uh, valve train, uh, GMPP performance heads with their port and polish on it. And uh, then we mounted it up with a Kong 2650 blower and uh, she rips. Uh, transmission's a built 6L90 with a getaway car's trans brake. And the rear end has been replaced with a G-Force uh, nine inch Ford conversion with uh, it's their, it's called their Outlaw setup and it's 1500 horsepower rated. So we basically wanted to make, basically make the car bulletproof and so far today, we ran six passes pretty hard and uh, didn't break anything. Oh, when we first showed up, when I literally got this hooked up to run logs before we came to the track and we installed a, a AEM wideband and we were getting voltage from the wideband, but the HP tuners wasn't seeing the wideband. So luckily I got here and the HP tuner boys were literally right behind where we're at and uh, came over and had me do a firmware update on the hardware. And just like that, it started working. So we were good to go.